the Livingston County Board of Commissioners meeting agenda for August 12th, 2024. The meeting is hereby called to order. May I have a roll call, please? Commissioner Helzerman. Here. Commissioner Domus. Absent. Commissioner Sample. Here. Commissioner Nakagiri. Here. Com Chairman Drick. Here. Commissioner Deaton. Here. Commissioner Smith. Here. Commissioner Fiani. Here. Commissioner Gross. Here. Mr. Chair, quorum is present. Thank you. Item number three on the agenda is call to the public. It's a three minute opportunity for the public to inform the commissioners of relevant matters in the public's mind. Do we have any cards? Mr. Chair, the first card is Barbara Tonkovich from Genoa Township. Ma'am? She left. Okay. She left. Next is Jim Anderson from Marion Township. Jim Anderson, come up, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. When you're ready to begin, begin. Okay. Good, after, good, good evening, commissioners. My name is Jim Anderson. I'm the vice chairman of the planning commission in Marion Township. Um, I'm one of the co-authors of the purchase of development rights general ordinance that was discussed earlier tonight. Um, I just want to clarify some questions that may have been asked during that portion of the meeting earlier. Um, we currently do not have any funding um, secured for purchase of development rights of farmland and open space. Um, that's not to say that some of us didn't try to get that uh, on this year's ballot, um, either as a millage or as a, uh, a bond proposal. But uh, unfortunately, the board of director, board of, board of trustees, did not approve um, the ballot language. Um, we do have uh, some residents in our township who are very, very interested in preserving some portion of their land, whether they're farmers or large land owners in our township. However, if you don't have money, it's very hard to, to do. Um, one of the things that's a requirement to qualify for both state and federal funding is to have a PDR ordinance on the books. So that's one of the reasons why we did it, okay? Um, our residents want it. 85% of our residents in Marion Township want to preserve farmland and open space. That's based on our most recent survey that we did two years ago. Um, so it's something that our residents want. Um, in terms of Ingham County, um, they do have a very robust uh, program. They've been at it for a long time. Um, as Mr. Barb mentioned, um, they've got 10,000 acres preserved forever, okay? Um, they have five applications pending because they don't have funding, right? So they have five other landowners who have raised their hand and said, we wanna do this. So they have not been able to uh, get the funding for that. Washtenaw County, which is a whole different ball game than, than our county or even Ingham for that matter, um, is very progressive in preservation of open space and farmland. If you look at the area around Ann Arbor, that is slowly being preserved. Drive down Parker Road out of Dexter, um, you'll see signs along the roadway that say, this farm's preserved, this land is preserved. Um, you also see it in Webster Township. Dexter Township um, is also pursuing that. So um, pres preservation of farmland and open space. So it is something that helps limit development, okay, in terms of uh, density. Right, it could help with uh, renewable energy sitting uh, situations within our townships. Um, to yep, thank you to uh, preserve uh, farmland and open space. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another card, Mr. Chair. Uh, Dale French is next of South Lyon. When you're seated and comfortable, you may begin. Good evening, commissioners. I'm Dale French and I live on Silver Lake in Green Oak Township. And our Lake Association recently received a grant from the state of Michigan Eagle Department and Michigan State Extension to disseminate information about a program called Clean Boats and Clean Waters. And I have a lot of handout information here. I was gonna leave just somewhere in the building for the public maybe to use. This program is uh, dedicated to stop 
the spread of aquatic species in our lakes and rivers. Uh, there's obviously a tremendous amount of lakes in our county and our areas around here. And we've gone to several different township meetings to disseminate this information and try to get the public more aware that the main focus is clean boats, clean waters. You have to clean your, your boat trailers off before you move it from lake to lake so that we can cut down on the main the main issue is Eurasian milfoil. Milfoil is an is a aquatic species that uh, grows rapidly, and it forms a net on the top of the water, and, and really destroys the enjoyment of the lakes. Whitmore Lake had to spend like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars about six years ago to eradicate the weeds. So they created an SAD, of course, to accomplish this. Our lake has been doing. Uh, we control through various different means um, to try to, you know, control this. The, the one major point about this too is uh, if we have public access on lakes, this is a prime spot to have some of this information on a billboard. And again, we're just trying to get the word out to everybody we can that we have to control the <clears throat> species because um, they can really harm lakes and lakes enjoyment. We just got back from Hamburg Township. Of course, they have the chain of lakes and it's uh, it's one of the biggest areas that, you know, of concern because there's so many people in and out of those lakes. And that's really the story. Any questions or anything? If you would deposit what you need with our clerk, we'll get it. Okay, thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thanks welcome, for your sir. time. What, what was the lake that you were on? Silver Lake, Green Elk Township. Our lake's meeting on that tonight. Another card? Mr. Chair, next is Debbie Gibson of Osceola Township. Good evening. Um, I'm here regarding to uh, regards to medical debt relief. There is funds up in Lansing that's been approved to relieve citizens of Michigan of their debt relief. The problem is, is as an individual, you cannot go and do this yourself. I'm advocating for someone, and I think it'd be great for Livingston County residents also, that the commissioners need to apply for this. And I confirmed that with Lannis thesis office on Thursday. I've contacted Sarah Anthony, um, a Senator up in Lansing. I, um, it is available, but you guys have to do it. There, as an individual, we do not. And this is through the American Rescue Plan. So the money's, money's there from the government. Um, how you go about doing it, I have no idea. I've been working on this for probably six months. Um, I emailed all of you. I got two responses, one from Nick. He called me, we talked, and Jay, you sent me two notes. Um, just wondering where we're going with that. I think it'd be very helpful. So, you know, I'm waiting for uh, Senator Anthony, uh, yeah, Anthony to get uh, office to get back with me. I know, Jay, you said that you contacted them and never heard anything from them. When I talked to them today, they said they thought it was uh, taken care of with Livingston County. And I said, well, my understanding, no. So he said he was going to check with somebody and get back with me. That was earlier today. And obviously, I didn't get the phone call back. But um I think this is something we need to do for our residents. So, what? <laughs> Mr. Chair, I just wanted to get her name. So, uh, Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson. 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 Okay. G I B S O N. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And, and like I said, individuals, you can't do it yourself. The county has to do it. So, thank you. Okay. So, I guess I my other question is is does will somebody get back with me on what you might do? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Another card. Ella Nikitin of Heartland. Okay. 
Hi, my name is Ellen Yakitin. I'm from Heartland Township. So, you know, I guess I get to be the first person today to talk about public transportation. Um, so, you know, I just want to relay to you um, something someone told me who lives up in the um, Livingston County portion of Fenton. Um, he was uh, telling me about how you know, multiple times per day, you know, he has to get to Fenton and he doesn't have the ability to drive right now. And he has to take the MTA bus up to Flint, which takes some time, and then down to uh, the Great Lakes Crossing Mall and then spend 50 minutes in Great Lakes Crossing Mall purgatory, you know, and then to catch another bus to Pontiac. And he has to do this multiple times a day, do that, and then do that all the way back. And it's, um, you know, an hour, and uh, I, I, I believe it's, sorry, I believe it's like a mile and a half between even where the MTA bus would be picking him up and where he lives in, in the Fenton portion, in the Livingston County portion of Fenton. So, you know, this is like the kind of people that, you know, you know, we are leaving behind when we have a public transportation system where the only people we serve, where the only people we're relevant to is the minority of people who work within the county because most Livingston County residents work outside the county in places like Pontiac and, you know, Detroit and Ann Arbor especially. And we need to serve these people. And, you know, even if you have the privilege of owning a car, you know, driving to Pontiac is, is like the most torturous experience on the planet. You know, I just, you know, M59 from Heartland to Pontiac is just, you know, it, it's, it's, it's really awful and, you know, Oakland County is having their buses slowly creep towards us, which is great, but they, we, we, could, we, sh we should at the very least maybe help Oakland County get their buses into, into Heart at least Heartland, if not all the way to Howell. So yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, another card? Mr. Chair, Paul Geisner is next of Marion Township. When you're seated and comfortable, you may begin. Thank you. Good evening, commissioners. Uh, my name is Paul Geisner. Uh, I live in Marion Township, and I'm a candidate for county commissioner uh, in Marion Township in the city of Howell. Uh, I first want to just start by saying thank you for your support of Let's uh, to date on uh, just hearing the resolution approved for um, Michigan Flyer. That's a really great service. I use it uh, a good amount for work, and I really appreciate it. It's a really great, great service getting to the airport. Um, I also want to start by saying I think our community is really great, and we have a lot of um, amazing services here. Um, and so keep that in mind and any other comments I say that, you know, I think we've got a lot of great things going for us, but we can always do a little bit better. Um, so as a part of my campaign, I've talked to a lot of folks um, and trying to hear what their concerns are in the community, uh, things that they like, things that they dislike. And uh, transportation and accessibility are ones that get uh, brought up quite a bit. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of concerns in the community around, you know, we're a growing community. We have more cars on the road, more traffic um, and cost of living as well, right? Um, it's expensive uh, to live in, in this county and, and you know, the, the state of Michigan as a whole. Uh, and so I, I'd like to propose to you that, you know, public transportation can kind of solve both those issues, right? Um, cars are expensive, uh, owning or leasing, repairs, fuel, insurance, these things all add up. And, you know, I don't think too many people can get away with zero cars, but maybe if you're a three car household, you go down to two, maybe if you're a two car household down to one, um, if we create the options for people to um, either use bikes, buses, walking, you know, there's a lot of other ways we can get around this community. Um, one example I think that I've been talking to people about that seems to resonate is uh, getting to Brighton. So I, I mean, I live here, over here, Marion Township, Howell area. 
parking in Brighton is, is difficult to say the least. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels that way. Um, and so I could see uh, you know, a shuttle between Howell and Brighton uh, that could help alleviate some of the stress of the parking in the Brighton area. Uh, this is something maybe you could start out as more of a pilot um, pr uh, project, right? Maybe on certain weekends where there are festivals in Brighton. Um, I know Let's has already um, did that for uh, the Balloon Fest. Um, I think these like those types of partnerships are really good examples of um, you know appetite for um, shuttle usage in the community. Um, so I, I think that would some, something I'd encourage the county to continue to explore is uh, expanding those types of opportunities. Uh, you know, again, less less cars on the road, less traffic, less wear on the roads. These are these are good things that'll save us money, save our community money in the long run. Um, I also believe there is some ARPA money that is still um, remaining uh, in the county hands. That's my understanding. Definitely would love to be corrected if that's not the case. Thank you. Um, and so I think some inv investment of those funds into public transportation and also things like sidewalks, bike lanes, uh, improving accessibility and affordability in our community would be um, really, really valuable um, for, for this community. So thank you so much for your time. Any other card? I have no more cards, Mr. Chair. I put a card up there. What name should he Quite look for? The first name he called. Mary Ann Barger. I have no card. You can submit one now, though. You want me to fill another one out? Yes, please. No, really, I can't get the card. He needs it for your proper spelling of your name in the hometown yeah. and things. Well, I don't want to take that. That's okay. She, she, she she can speak. Yeah, she I'll fill it out in a second. Yeah, just go. Yeah, get you that's fine. After. Hi, gentlemen. My name is Mary Ann Barger and I'm from Cahokta Township. And um, I've, I've sat up here and watched all you men give all these budgets to everyone, including the drain commission. And that's kind of why I'm here. I have a drain that runs through my property that I had no control over putting it there, but I have to pay for the drain commission to come through and clean it out and then I still pay on top of that my property taxes. I understand that Livingston County is a very wet county. And in order for it, for the majority of people to have a wonderful life or a wonderful home with no water, um, everyone should be involved in the drains, everyone. And the point being is they benefit from them. I, Thank goodness my house isn't flooded, but my neighbors are. They shouldn't have to deal with that. So what I'm asking or what you, what your board should do is start looking for a budget for the drain commission. I mean, you give $35 million for the road commission that goes down and takes hundreds of tons of gravel off of my road and so now it looks like there's drains alongside and then they come back and then they put the same hundreds of um, gravel on the road. It's not gonna change anything. I should have went there and got uh, a sample of it because I used to test material for a gravel company and the loss by wash is the same material that they took off that they gave to my neighbor so they didn't have to haul it away. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> Stop by and do I'll a little go. quick card. I'll, Thank you. I'll go get here. Yeah, Thank you. Out of cards? Yes, sir. Krista, do we have anybody on Zoom? Uh, we do. We have Mary Wittelek. Thank you. Mary, you can unmute and you uh, can start your call to the public. Okay. Um, well, first I'm wondering if uh, you could comment on the reason that the general government and health and human services committee meeting uh, was, was not held last Monday. It's usually the first Monday of the month and it wasn't held uh, last week as expected. It was on the calendar. Uh, there was no mention anywhere of cancellation, except that a, an agenda was not posted. 
Um, you know, this committee has such a broad spectrum of departments under their purview, and it does seem like a disservice to the community that this meeting was canceled. Um, so I had wanted to speak at that meeting about let's. Seems that's the topic today is let's. Um, I do recall that uh, two months ago at that um, general government meeting that uh, Commissioner Gross had lamented the lack of service on weekends and especially on Sunday. I was quite happy to hear that. Um, I, actually, I think um, that services should be, um, there should be a dedicated route on Grand River uh, up to Heartland, um, connecting our villages and towns. Uh, but what Commissioner Gross had talked about was the, the lack of service on weekends and especially on Sunday. Um, I'm curious, has there been any action since then to address this issue? It has a significant impact on uh, the vulnerable uh, members of our community. And same, you know, the uh, comments made by um, Ella and Paula, Paul uh, also addressed uh, these issues. And um, I think this is something that needs to be, have serious conversation soon. Um, I understand. So there is also around 30 million in taxpayer dollars sitting in a bank undesignated. If I'm assuming, I don't know if that's correct. Please correct me if not. Um, and so it seems we have the money to expand let services um, why aren't we doing this? Uh, this is a something that affects a lot of people uh, for a variety of reasons, and also uh, ARPA money. Um, there was zero budget for 2024 for LETS. Um, why aren't we using, um, if there is uh, money undesignated left in ARPA, could we use that for this purpose? Okay, hey, that's that's it. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, ma'am. I see. Commissioner, the we have Tammy Higgins. Tammy Higgins, if you'd unmute, you can begin your call of the public. Uh, hmm. I don't know why my camera isn't on. Can you get okay? Is it okay if I talk without you guys seeing me? <laughs> I can't seem to get the video to work. That's fine. We can hear okay. you. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I was just calling in um, a few. I do listen to the recordings. And a few months ago, I know Ms. Commissioner Smith had said something about the SPARC grants. And he wanted to tell people how much it was of the budget. And it was only like 2%. And it got me thinking about the budget for LETS. And it turns out that the budget for LETS, the 65,000 that you guys allocate is less than 0.01% of the budget. And I only put that out there so the public can hear that not a lot of our budget is going for public transportation. And then I'm also you know, concerned about our infrastructure in our county. You know that I've been here in person and on Zoom speaking to you about the complete streets and our master plan, which is being redone by our Livingston County planners. Um, but from the 2018, there's a lot of complete streets concepts in there that everybody seemed to agree was a good idea. I'm also looking at your strategic vision tour plan for 2022-2026. Your first goal was no unsafe drains, sewers, public or private water or roads for infrastructure. That was the number one. That was the goal one in the first sentence of that goal. And, you know, I, I got kind of got had to get on here and talk with you guys because I was looking at the bridges that are closed in our county. We have five closed bridges, and then we have 24 that are um, restricted. This is, a, to me, a public safety issue. I mean, this is like important. You're not going to have fire or EMS being able to get to people's homes in a timely fashion. And I just think that we really, really need to take our roads seriously and improve them and modernize them to today's standards. And today's standards would be complete streets. It would be bridges that are structurally sound and can handle um, you know, flooding and stuff in a better way and not be damaged. And also it would include sidewalks, paths, and uh, safer road designs for motorists. It's, it's, it's for everybody. We, we are all in this together in our county and we all wanna to get to where we're going safely. 
without getting hurt or injured, regardless if we're on a bike, we're on a scooter, we're walking, we're in a wheelchair because we're an injured veteran. If we can make it good for everybody, it's going to save lives. And I know that saving lives is important to you all because you believe in our creator. You say prayers at the meetings when you start them out. We need to start living our values and in help doing the roads is going to improve it for everyone, not just some everybody. We will all benefit. And that's all I have to say. And thank you so much for letting me speak without the video. <laughs> and, and your residence? Oh, I, I ask Township. I'm your I ask Township Planning Commission Chair. Thank you. Yep. Any further hands on Zoom? I see none. No further hands. No further hands. Thank you. The call to the public, number one, as uh, item number three on the agenda is now closed. Item number four on the agenda is approval of our August 12th written agenda. Can I get a motion? I move to approve the agenda with the addition of item 5.3, resolution for the 2024 Livingston County EMS millage. Thank support you. The, support for the motion and the amendment, correct? Correct. Any discussion? Seeing none, we'll vote on the amendment first. All those in favor? We'll do one vote. You agree? You concur? Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Because he put it in his motion. He put the amendment in his motion. Fair enough. Package deal, all those. Uh, to approve the agenda, kindly voice vote, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Seven ayes and one nay passes. Item number five, resolutions for consideration. 5.1 is numbered 2024-08-101. It's a resolution approving a mural easement at the location of the Fileville EMS base at 200 North Grand, Fileville, Michigan. It's brought to us by our administration. Can so I get Hauserman. support Deaton? Motion by Commissioner Helzerman, support by Commissioner Deaton. Any discussion? Seeing none, voice vote. All those in favor, kindly say aye. 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 Any opposed? I'm hearing an eight to zero vote and it passes. Item number 5.2 is number 2024-08-102. It's a resolution authorizing the sublease agreement with Joe's Investment LLC for the Public Defender's Office space. So move sample. Second, Fiani. Motion by sample, second by Fiani. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of voice vote, kindly say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. It's a seven to one favorable vote. It passes. We're now on to the added item on our agenda, item 5.3. It was on FAM, page 25, as 8.3. It's a resolution for the 2024 Livingston County EMS millage of 0.2823 and with the amendment of that is the winter tax roll. Can I get a motion? Motion Smith. Thank you. Second, Fiani. Motion by Commissioner Smith, second by Commissioner Fiani. Any further discussion? Does that need to be roll call vote? Yes. That sounds like we're getting nods of the heads. Yes, sir. We'll go for a roll call vote then. Commissioner Helzerman. Uh, yes. Commissioner Domus. Absent. Commissioner Sample. Yes. Commissioner Nakagiri. Yes. Comm Chairman Drick. Yes. Commissioner Deaton. Yes. Commissioner Smith. Yes. Commissioner Fiani. Yes. Commissioner Gross. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chair, the vote is 801. That will be recorded as passing. We're on to number item number six, 
It's entitled Accounts Payable Reports 6.1 reads claims dated August 12, 2024. 6.2 reads payables dated July 13 through July 27, 2024. Can I get a motion to cover both 6.1 and 6.2? So move gross or support. Well, deep will support. Okay. Um, We'll mark it down that the motion was made by Gross and support by Deaton. Any discussion? Commissioner Fiani. So I'm gonna try and tie this in. As a county, we pay bills and there's a number of people out there who do have this medical debt uh, in need. Um, so with that being said, uh, I do appreciate everything Mrs. Uh, Gibson spoke about earlier. And I had the opportunity to research this and there's a company called, it used to be called RIP Medical Debt. And Kalamazoo County actually um, was able to arrange an agreement with them where Kalamazoo County basically put up uh, $466,000 and RIP medical debt uh, bought $89 million worth of medical debt. I, uh, back in uh, April, I reached out to RIP medical debt uh, on two occasions. I, I should have been more persistent, that's on me. Um, but I did not hear back. It came to my attention that RIP medical debt, uh, and, just, and just looking this back up, is now called undue debt. That's U-N-D-U-E medical debt. Um, I, will, I will reach out, out to them and see what we can do. Um, it does look like Senator Anthony uh, was able to, uh, to pursue this and uh, make some arrangements with them. And in essence, and in summary, what undue medical debt does is they go and purchase large, large sums of medical debt at a reduced price. And then through, it's a, it's a nonprofit. So through donations that they receive, they're able to purchase that debt in large quantities and then pay it off. So it's certainly, I, from everything I've seen, it's a remarkable program and um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll continue to pursue it. So thank you for, for reaching out. I'll tell you there's six counties that have already applied for this. Okay. Um, Wayne, Oakland, Kent, Kalamazoo, and Piedmont. Okay. So it's being, the monies are there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any further discussion on the topic of the motion? Commissioner Nakagiri. I don't know if this is off topic, but uh, for Commissioner Fiani, is that a, you said that's a charity? Is that a private charity? I, I believe it's a private charity. Thank you. Further discussion? All those in favor of uh, passage of 6.1 and 6.2 voice vote, kindly say aye. 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 Any opposed? I'm hearing eight to zero, it passes. We're on number seven, call to the public. This is a two minute uh, opportunity for the public to inform the commissioners. Do we have any cards? I have no cards, Mr. Chair. No cards. Do we have anybody on Zoom? I do not see any hands on Zoom, Commissioner. Cindy, thank you. We'll close the call to the public. We're now at item number eight, which is a closed session. This is gonna require a roll call vote, but it's to do the Heartland Township, Livingston County DPW case number 20233-CK under Michigan Compiled Law 15.268, parent E, closed parent. May we get a roll call vote to go into closed session? Motion to go into closed session. Support Deaton. Thank you. Commissioner Helzerman. Uh, yes. Commissioner Domus. Absent. Commissioner Sample. Yes. Commissioner Nakagiri. Yes. Chairman Drick. Yes. Commissioner Deaton. Yes. Commissioner Smith. Yep. Commissioner Fiani. Yes. Commissioner Gross. Yes. Mr. Chair, uh, 801 is the vote. The motion passes. Thank you. <laughs> 44 p.m. We're back in open session. It's a mad rush of people coming in. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we wore them out. The, the doors are actually oh, open, so we're good. I'll Chair, entertain I'll a, motion. a motion. We adjourn. That would be the motion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Eight zeros for adjournment. We're done. That's what is for. That's what Bonnie is for. You're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.